I have to say something about that smug Dan Andrews yesterday. A cheap shot at Peter Dutton that uh, I think has exploded in his face. Peter Dutton, the former Defence Minister, is now locked in to be the next Liberal leader with Susan Lee as his deputy. A woman of the Liberal left, broad church and all that kind of stuff, yada yada. Now, Labor's already having hysterics that a Conservative will once again lead shock the Liberals. If Peter Dutton is the answer, then it's not entirely clear that they heard the questions that were raised during this election campaign. Yeah, I think Peter Dutton's elevation would show that they've learned absolutely nothing from the drubbing that they got on Saturday. You know, Peter Dutton has all of the same characteristics that people didn't like that they saw in Scott Morrison. Labor front bencher Tanya Plibersek was even worse today, likening Dutton to that bald villain from Harry Potter. And I have to ask, is this what Prime Minister Anthony Albanese meant on day one when he said, uh, well, he wants a more respectful debate? Because to me, this just sounds like the old style Labor character smears instead. Well, I think there'll be a lot of children who've watched a lot of Harry Potter films who'll, who'll be very frightened of what they're seeing on TV at night, that's for sure. What, are you saying he looks strange, he looks odd? I'm saying he looks a bit like Voldemort and uh, and we'll see whether he can, um, we, he can do what he promised he'd do when he was last running for leader, which is smile more. Why is Labor so often personally nasty and disparaging, including about people's looks? Now, I actually know why Labor's freaking out about Dutton. You know, they're scared. He's tough. He's smart. He's a great communicator, a former copper who's going to be very credible in turning the Liberals into a party for the battler, focusing on cost of living and calling out bull. And what's more, unlike Scott Morrison, he stands for something, and I think he's brave. Plus, he's a Conservative. And remember that Liberals have never won an election from opposition without a Conservative leader. Robert Menzies, John Howard, Tony Abbott. So that's what's scaring Labor. But look how it's backfired now on Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews on exactly the kind of issues that does expose Labor's blindness to what's really happening in the streets. This is Dan Andrews yesterday, whacking Peter Dutton. You know, he's made a whole range of comments about Victoria. Uh, you know, you guys need to remember this. It wasn't that long ago wasn't that long ago when these people were running around saying that we we're all going to get murdered by an African gang and we couldn't go out for dinner? Yes, ho, 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 how we laughed. Except, of course, the very night before Andrew said that, people going out for dinner on Melbourne's Ligon Street saw another gang run down that street right past their tables, armed with a machete, chasing a man into an ice cream shop and nearly killing him by slashing his neck. It was the most scariest, most horriblest thing I've ever seen. There is zero evidence that this was an African gang, but Daniel Andrews should tell us whether the diners on Ligon Street care one way or the other which gang is to blame. And maybe he could explain whether his own race meddling with treaties and the like, stirring up races, made going to the football any safer either when the so-called reconciliation round game last weekend between Richmond and Essendon ended with a man now charged for allegedly hitting a man with his didgeridoo, seemingly unprovoked, and putting him in hospital with two skull fractures. So if I were Dan Andrews, I'd be getting on with my day job to make people who are eating out and going to the footy feel a little bit safer. And maybe you could fix Victoria's dysfunctional hospital system as well. That would be good.